Hey, what's up guys? Greetings and salutations. Thad here with you. We're going to go over another beer review. What I'll be sampling today and telling you my opinion of is Belching Beaver Peanut Butter Milk Stout. Look at this bad boy. Got this for my birthday. Last Monday was my birthday. Uh, I'm in my 40s with nothing better to do during the COVID can't go outside and play with friends so I'm drinking beer for you guys still so this one here I'm gonna give you a brief description it says America's favorite peanut butter milk stout so if it's America's favorite I'm gonna like it I'm hoping it's um it's uh belching beavers stout beer with peanut butter infused um let's see I don't know it's 5.3% alcohol by volume, you know, for all my scientists out there. Um, I went ahead, cracked it, poured it a moment ago before we started recording. I'll let you take a look at this thing. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that, man. Looks like, looks like cold coffee. Hopefully it tastes like cold coffee or better because I love some cold brew. So anyways, I got this for my birthday. I'm going to try it out let you guys know what I can tell you. I can tell you the things I've discovered I don't like since I've been doing these videos. I am not big on hoppy beer. Too bitter. Hopefully this one, this stout is not hoppy. Here goes nothing. I'm going to get a big old taste. First impressions, I'm not getting hit with peanut butter, with the taste of peanut butter. Sorry my ear itches, drives my wife nuts when I touch my face on camera. So picking my ear is probably worse. Um, so, kind of reminds me of, well now that I'm sitting here talking I'm starting to get more hint of the peanut butter. Let me get, let me, let me go in again. Okay, so I'm detecting a slight hint of peanut butter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa, I kicked my tripod. Or did my tripod hit my tripod? Either way, so I digress. Um, it kind of reminds me of Guinness. It has that dark taste like Guinness does, but not hoppy. Um, good flavor, very full. It's not not as thick as Guinness. Like, I tend to drink Guinness until I'm full, versus until I'm hammered. Because I love Guinness. I don't know if anyone knew that, but I love Guinness. It's good. So I'd compare this to Guinness, man. It's not. I mean, it's got a subtle, subtle hint of peanut butter. Um, I'm I'm gonna try Belting Beavers, just regular stout, and see what I think. Man. Let me get repositioned. <clears throat> As you can see, I've made some changes. I got a green screen behind me. Hopefully, I'll have some special effects up on it while we're talking and doing this thing. Uh, so, Belching Beaver, pretty good. Peanut butter stout, I'm, I'm digging it. Um, as I mentioned early in the video, my birthday was last Monday, July 13th. And my wife, bless her heart, got me had a couple of shirts made for me Thadco shirts now as we all know I have my own product line on Teespring, Teespring and I've been having issues with people finding it so now we've got someone here local who can make Thadco shirts if you want them hit me up I'll shoot you a price and we'll get them shipped out to you if you want to buy a shirt and if you're here in town we'll even get you going good that way I'll even deliver maybe give, uh, give away some MD 2020 some of the stuff I've reviewed and couldn't finish because it's disgusting. Maybe you guys would appreciate it. I don't. Some people like wine. I don't. So anyhow, um, this peanut butter stout's pretty decent. Like I said, it reminds me of a Guinness. It doesn't get that thick head like Guinness does when you pour it. Um, slight hint of peanut butter. Um, I like it.
So I've had had a couple of friends point out to me, don't do rock gut reviews anymore because it's bad for you. Especially means I'm in my 40s somethings. So I'm thinking to make beer healthier. Maybe I'll start adding some uh, creatine here and there or something. Just joking. Uh, anyways, I'd give this beer two thumbs up. It's got a really nice flavor to the stout. Tastes well. Um... I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I can't mention enough. It was my birthday last last Monday, so some good family friends, good family, got me a bunch of different beers to try and review and drink for you guys. Uh, and I'll mix in some hard stuff too, cause I like hard liquor. Uh, I'm a big fan of rums and whiskeys. Uh, don't really like vodkas, but I'll drink them. So anyhow, this is what I got. Uh, I might post a video later in the week. Telling y'all a story, post in the comments what you want to hear. I could talk about days of being a funeral home worker and some goofy shit that it came up. Uh, I could tell you about the time I met Jesus and punched him in the face on Hilltop at a bus stop. Yeah, me, me and the Holy Spirit got into it one day. So anyhow, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys watching. Wish I had something funny to say, but I'm, I'm really not prepared to, for that today. Tell you what, man, this beaver, Belchin Beaver, is excellent. I suggest trying it out. It was founded in 2012, so they've been around about seven years. They got their game locked in tight. Peanut butter stout's good. Can't wait to try the regular stout. Anyways, like I said, this is Thad of Thadco. I'm out. Have a good day.